Hello everyone, it's Fairykin. This is part two of my Oak Hulkling series. If you want to know about the character I'm making and how I'm making it, go watch part one. So last time, I left off in the middle of making his wings. So we'll pick it back up from there. I have all of the sticks prepped, and now I begin making holes for the nuts and bolts. I did this using an X-Acto knife because I was afraid drilling through them would split the popsicle sticks. Also, I don't have a drill bit that small, but that's not important. I added a few layers of wood glue and paper, almost like a layer of paper mache, on the ends of the sticks to, to reinforce them near the joints. I bought some small nuts and bolts for the joints for the wings, but it became apparent that they were in fact too small. They could only hold the thickness of two sticks, and the smallest attachment in my build was three sticks. So we gotta do something else. Uh, something, something else. I tried a few different screws that I had just laying around, and some were from the hinges that I bought, and some were actually from the door to my studio. The doorknob needs replaced anyway, so I stole a few screws. This plan was flawed though, because I had no way to add friction from the other side so that the joints would stay in the position that I adjusted them to be. But then I remembered. When I made Nymphit the Tea Fairy, I built her wings in a similar way. And I still had some of the hardware left over from that. They are a bit bigger, so all I have to do is widen the holes for them to pass through. And Voyola! Problem solved! So now we assemble the wings to make sure that everything works how I planned. I have the hinge and the anchor piece, and in this example I'm attaching them with screws but later I just had to glue them together. The next joint has two layers for extra stability, and now we have the first knuckle. This goes in between the two sticks that I just added. The other two knuckles attach on the same hinge. So now that they're both assembled, I mark his back where the hinges should be. And before I attach them, I paint the sticks green and I use thread locker to make sure that the nuts stay tight. This brand didn't work and I am unsure as to why. So if anyone knows what I'm doing wrong, uh, please educate me. I am an absolute fool. Eventually, I just covered the nuts in epoxy sculpt and that held them just fine. I dry brush the ends of the skeleton with black just to add detail. This won't show after I fabricate it, but I just like to put effort into things, alright? And you know about it, so I mean, whatever. And now I move on to the clothes. I use the same pattern that I used for Danny's outfit, because apparently all of the male characters that I will ever make will all be wearing either bodysuits or leotards. No exceptions. Only spandex in this household. I used the same stretchy fabric that I used from Bayonetta's outfit as well. From here, I sew together his pants. I attach the crotch first, and then I hem the waistband and the edge of the pant legs. Then I sew down the side seams. At first, they were a little bit too baggy. I made them larger on purpose to make room for his giant thigh muscles, but, um... I made them a little bit too big, so I adjusted them. For his top, I essentially made a vest and hem all of the open edges. His costume has gold details, so I will add those using, the f using this gold foil fabric. I attach them on the shoulders and the sides. The side part extends almost to his knees, so I use the gold fabric to anchor the top and bottoms together to make it into a bodysuit. Before I close the seam in between the pants and the top, I tried the outfit on him to make sure that it fit well. I noticed that it was a little bit large, so I adjusted it accordingly. And then I closed the seam using a ladder stitch.
In between me taking the outfit on and off, one of his scales on his fingers got caught in the shoulder seam and frickin' broke it off. So I'm going to repair that later and leave the hands off until he's completely finished. Hulkling's costume has a collar, so I added that. And I tried to embroider a zipper, but the thread I used was the wrong color and it, it, uh, it looked a little stupid. So I added that with gold fabric paint instead. For the zipper, I clipped two jump rings together and a broken necklace clasp. I remember when this clasp broke. I was working on something and it just kind of fell apart in my hands, but I kept it in case I might do something with it later, and you know what? It worked out pretty well, I gotta say. I gotta say. Some of you may remember when I painted these cool shoes for Danny Sexbang's outfit. And they were just a little bit too big and I didn't end up using them. Well, good news! Teddy wears huge black high tops. So boom! I paint them black, add some shading, add a glossy finish, and huzzah! I think they look pretty good. Now I'm going to melt holes into his back to screw his wings into. Because I like science experiments, I guess. I left the back part of his suit open so that I could fit in his wings. I heat up a rather large needle, melt two holes into his back, and then, and then widen them with an X-Acto knife. I screw them in and then test the mobility of the wings. I'm pretty dang happy with how this is looking, I gotta say. I've done something new and it worked pretty well and I'm pretty dang proud of myself if I do say so myself. <gasps> Once again, this is where I must leave you. Part 3 should be coming out soon, and I'm super excited to finish up the wings and show you the face up. Thank you all so much for watching. Can I just say really fast, um, I read up on some statistics the other day, and I learned that there's 82 years worth of content uploaded to YouTube every day. 82 years, that's a freaking lifetime. And y'all are choosing to watch my stuff? That's really incredible to me, actually. It, it means a lot to me. And one other thing. Jen, the person that will be receiving this doll, is the creative director for the Toronto Gamers. This is a really awesome pro-LGBT organization in Canada, making sure that the LGBTQ individuals in Toronto have a safe environment to go to. They have really cool nerdy shirts. I just, I just thought you should know. It'll be linked in the description box if, if you're at all interested. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. Your support has been absolutely amazing. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Bye! Oh dude, it's 2am! Oh no! Someone put me to bed! Frick. That's too- that's too late. I'm too small for this.